Hi guys, Abhishek here from Engulfing Bull. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Nifty. All right, we're going to talk about our market. Uh, we're going to draw an outline, uh, the expectation from it in future. And then obviously for trading purposes, you can uh, use a smaller time frame, your own analysis uh, to do that. But let's just see what's going to happen or what uh, we think according to technical analysis has been happening. All right. Okay. So now this is, uh, I think I've drawn it from 2007, all right? So 2007 onwards, this has been an uptrend and this post COVID, it has actually broken out of the channel, okay? Now, obviously it's got like one year approximately, uh, of, approximately of correction uh, in the middle of these uptrend. Few things that I want you to think about. The last time this uptrend had a correction, it took 23 bars. So every bar is a month. Uh, so 23 months after that, 14 months of correction. Okay, approximately a year. The next uptrend was for 36 bars and then again, 11 bars, approximately a year of correction. Once again, 46 bars and then obviously COVID, uh, the fall was, you know, as much as you would expect, but it was beyond and there was a false breakout because of the COVID situation because of the pandemic obviously right so this is a false breakout here on the channel and then it's gone above now if I assume that every uptrend has been taken has been taking uh, 10 months or 10 bars more than the previous one then we can expect that the next so if I take this here so let me draw it till 55 or 54 bars or something like that you know just to be conservative or anything but this is just just analysis on the base of my previous data that I have all right so I've taken 23 bars here 36 approximately 10 13 months 46 approximately 10 months and then now 53 bars approximately all right so the next uh, timeline I get is a September 24 timeline which is you know three years from now for a deeper correction but obviously it has gone beyond what we would have expected as an as an up move so it can move sideways or can give you a correction maybe a sooner or later but at least not immediately that is what we think you know obviously again we try and react to price changes and not predict okay so we're just trying to draw a rough timeline here or uh, we're trying to draw what's going to happen you know okay so obviously you've seen this channel here on the monthly chart right and after this was broken all right, we can draw another channel on a weekly chart, which has been intact. All right, so it's an uptrend, very steep, so very strong uptrend. We've got corrective channels here on a weekly chart. As I said, if you want to trade correction or if you want to trade these as well, you can use a top, smaller time frame like a daily chart and an hourly chart as well, and it'll give you a fantastic trade. I'll show you, I'll show you this as well. Okay, so that, that was an entry point here, and then now obviously there was one here, it's gone above. These are all touch points that are marked with yellow colors, okay? So don't worry about that right now. Just worry about the analysis. Uh, what I mean by saying that is that these prices can correct till here, can go back, or they can go back up here and then come back for a correction, right? If I zoom out a wee bit, you see the time frame is here. So till here or till this channel is broken, I don't really have to worry about our markets. Okay, now supposedly if this channel is broken on the downside, then we can expect something like this. So let me just, you know, then you can expect something like this. But unless that happens, there's no point in talking about fall and correction and all of that right now. Okay, there is a possibility that this might come till here and then go back up. There is a possibility that it might just go back up and then correct. Okay, so we will only react to prices. We will look to enter at such levels. Okay, we will look to enter at these levels where there is an opportunity with a small risk and reward. Okay, now obviously we're not going to sit idle. We're going to trade. So let's look at the daily chart quickly. Okay, in the daily chart, again, you can see the channel, beautiful entry points. You see this entry point here, this entry point here. You had entry points here, then after a corrective, you see how these corrective channels are made, right? Let me change the color so that you can see this properly. 
let me make it uh, red let's improve the thickness and opacity all right can you see this channel here beautiful channel okay so zero one two three three and a breakout a breakout with a gap gap tested gone up okay so beautiful entry opportunity here as well so now again if you see this move here all right i'm just trying to see if i can draw a channel as good as last time maybe okay so it might move sideways maybe move on till this and then go up okay or it breaks out of the channel or you can use your moving averages to get entry points okay if you use your moving averages all you need to do is try and use your own system or learn a system to understand that there were entries here there were entries here there were entries maybe here okay or maybe once it comes down and then you get an entry okay there was an entry here at EMH you get entries at EMH all right all right guys so this is how you do your analysis plan your trade trade your plan but more so just chalk out what can happen what are you planning for and then if that doesn't work you're at least not losing money right don't bet in advance wait for things to happen and then enter your positions i hope you had a safe diwali i hope you had fun i hope you like this analysis if you want me to look at any other stock please leave a message on the comment box for anything else please get in touch with us learn the system learn any system and trade accordingly all right till then i'll see you next week